All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, this past week so much. The previous week, we were looking at Link Monsters, so I decided let's just round out the whole thing. We looked at Link Monsters for card review last week and this week, and last week we looked at, for Fake Card Friday, we looked at a, a Link Monster. So I was like, now do that. Let's also look at a Link Monster for this week as well. So this Link Monster, because a ton of people have been making fake Link Monsters, I mean, it's the new hip thing, cool thing to do. Uh, I think it's really interesting. It has a fairly powerful effect. So I wanted to review it as if it was a real card. And if it was real, how good would it be? So today, we are looking at Hess Master of Light. So Hess Master of Light is a, <gasps> surprise, light monster. He's light fairy link effect monster. He has link monsters markers at the bottom left, bottom right, and bottom. So you put him in the extra deck and he gives you three. That, that's pretty powerful. It's probably the most powerful I've seen so far from Link Monsters. He has 2,550 attacks. So he's just slightly above the attack barrier and he is a Link 3. His materials are two or more light monsters. So you either use three light monsters or you can use a Link 2 monster that has to be a light. That still, that requirement has to fit plus another light monster. So, it's kind of pricey, it really is, but, I mean, it's a Link 3. Link 3s are generally pricey. I'm, I'm going Neg 2 on it, so hopefully it is worth it. So, let's go ahead and look at that effect. So, effect read. When this card is Link Summoned, you can special summon one Light Monster from your hand to this card's Link Zone. Yeah, that's not, that's not anything, you know? That's just an additional special summon. That's nice and all, but it doesn't really benefit me. It's the same resource. Uh, I'm taking a card from my hand and summoning it to the field. That's the same as that resource. Now, if it summoned a light monster from the deck or summoned a light monster from the graveyard, then whoo! But, yeah, it's the same resource. So, hopefully, uh, maybe the monster linked to this has something to do with its uh, additional effects. All right, next effect is, once per turn, when you're opponent special summons a monster monsters you can destroy monsters in this card's linked zone equal to the number of monsters your opponent special summoned and if you do destroy those monsters then if any of the monsters destroyed by this card's effect were light on the field draw one card there it is and you know what that's actually pretty powerful pretty powerful in fact this card can stop inherent summons just like that done you know um it destroys the monster uh, but it seems like it doesn't stop the monster summon. So, for example, if your opponent with Pendulum summon a monster, you can go ahead and do this whole debacle. And I believe the monster would go back to the extra deck. But just the fact that you could just stop inherent summons, because uh, outside of Pendulums, inherent summons are generally, you know, a one for your one. So whether your opponent goes into an XE, a Synchro, or their own Link monster, you know, when your opponent would special summon a monster, monsters. You just destroy the monster link to it, which you're already going to have one when you summon this, hopefully, because you're going to special summon that light monster from your hand and put it in this monster's link. Uh, so that's already one. Your opponent doesn't inherit summon. You go ahead and uh, destroy your monster link to this card to destroy the monster that your opponent just inherently summoned, which means that they're probably going to take an egg. And usually it'd be like, all right, well, you know, I'm only a little bit above you. Let's say that you went into a generic rank four monster that you used two materials like, for example, Castel. All right, you wanted to Castel. I use my effect. I get rid of my monster link to us and pop your Castel. You use two monsters to make the Castel. And then I got rid of that Castel. So you went technically neg two. While I got rid of just my one monster link. So I went neg one. So I'm one up above you. But no, that, that, that couldn't be enough that pretty much I get to stop inherent summons with this card. If the monster destroyed by its effect were light on the field. that Whether it be your monster is light or my monster that's linked to it is light, which, like I said, with the first pack, I did special summon a light monster from my hand to this card, Link Zone, which means that there is a light monster link. I get to draw a card, which means that you went to that Castell, I popped it, I got rid of it, you went Neg 2, and usually I would go Neg 1 by getting rid of the Link monster, but oh wait, I draw a card, so I even out. Like, this card, if it was real, it'd be really powerful, really powerful. And all you have to do is just throw in a couple light monsters. Like, I can possibly see this maybe in, like, light swarms or, or you know, just a more fast, aggressive light deck that can risk, you know, doing three light monsters. But in the end, it might really be worth it. Just for the fact that I pretty much just get to stop your hammer something. Like, this would be easy. This would be, like, what? Like, a little bit of stick chair combo, if that, I believe. The stick chair, I believe, stick or chair, I believe chair says that it has to go into a rank three, but... It didn't say, it doesn't say that I can't go into a Link Monster with it. Like, if you can go 
summon stick, get chair, special summon chair, draw a card, special summon chair, draw a card, you know, go into this, equip a link monster to it, like, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that it, it really is, it's just a little bit too strong, it really is, it really is, it's the fact that it's 20, 2550 over the attack barrier, and I get to stop any inherent summon, like I said, unless you special summon more monsters than I have linked to it to that point, that would kind of suck, but every time you go into that one inherent summon, I pop that one inherent summon, get rid of my link monster, draw a card, you wait, you burn the resources, I'm evening out, and then I will continue to just hopefully stay above you unless you find some way to get rid of this with like either like a kaiju or destruction, but yeah, this card is super good, it's so destructive, and you even out, and you even out like that. That's the that's the cherry on top. And you even out. So, link monster markers are good. Everything about this card is just really great. It really is. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think about Hess Master of Light in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. I will be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. We're gonna step away from link monsters for a little while. Not only we're we gonna step away from link monsters when it comes to card review because we're all out. But we're also going to do it for Fake Card Friday. I like the little pairing. They're both in the Yu-Gi-Oh! discussion category on my channel. One's Card Review and one uh, uh, Fake Card Friday. But they all are, are connected in their own playlist. You might see it sometimes. Uh, I, I believe at the end, the end uh, kind of annotation thing or whatever, it says instead of Card Review or Fake Card Friday, they are combined into, uh, I believe it's Card Discussion. So they're kind of linked, but not really. The point is, next... Friday, we're not gonna do a link monster. I promise you. I promise you. You know, we we uh, uh, let's let's go ahead and look at some of the the, the fake cards that you guys have been sending me. I, you know, uh, some of them I've been interesting, and I was like, all right, I'll get to that. And some of them was kind of like, okay, that's kind of bland. That's not gonna be too interesting. But the fact is that you guys are sending me some cards. You guys want me to look at some of your fake cards, and be sure to continue to send me your fake cards. All you have to do is just take the ca fake card, put the card's image in the description, and then go ahead and copy and paste the uh, the effect, so I don't have to type that out in the description, because that, that's kind of tedious and it'll take a while. If you guys can do that fair, that'd be really appreciated. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Fake Card Friday. Thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another Fake Card to look at. Alright, people, thanks for watching.